poke my eyes up until I find a hole to go through. That looks like a hole, maybe. I think this is the way I came out. Oh my god, okay. Yep, I don't like it down there. It's scary. Baba, Peace out! Yep, okay, there is- no, ow, god, oh fucking hell. Ow! What the heck did I just hit? Have I... Life Pod 17? Uh, wait. I have found 17, have I not? I did. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. This was Ozzy, right. Remember when I said I thought it was the crab snakes? The entrance to the Jelly Shroom Cave is literally right next to him. So, yeah. The, the crab snakes got him. Did I investigate this wreck? I don't believe so. This does not look familiar. It's huge as well. What? Okay, let's find a way in. Oh, you know what? I should probably go home and get some water. Shit. I keep forgetting about water! And then laser cutter, scanner. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, you know. Oh, no, wait! I'm an idiot! But also kind of not an idiot because I packed extra water for this exact purpose! Yay! I'm such a smart girl! <laughs> okay. We're good. We can stay out here a little longer now. Can I get in here? Hello. Come on, man. There's gotta be a way in here, right? This thing is huge. There, there's gotta be a way in. Oh, 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 there's my entrance. There's my entrance. Okay, I'm gonna go get my Seamoth and bring it over. I have found the way in, and now I'm going to do my very bestest to not drown in a freaking wreck. Because most of the times I've drowned in this game, it has been while exploring a wreck. I'm gonna keep the light on, fuck it. Okay. Okay. I don't need to worry about my power running out as long as I have enough to get back home. Because I have the freaking room full now, which makes me excited. Ooh, don't touch that, me. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, and I also... Integrating new PDA data. Wait, is this what's left of the Degasi? Is this a Degasi wreck right now? <gasps> That's cool! I completely forgot to read all those all those things that I found down in the Shroom Cave, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now before I forget to read it again. Uh... Let's do this one. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. It is. <laughs> He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. I feel you, bro. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. The island. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Beeper! Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. That's the crab Certainly, snake. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life's toxic. I learned that the hard way. But... I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. Marble melons! When they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. I love how they have voices. He now. says, understanding is power. That oh, the more we know power. about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. <laughs> For now it's it not is. easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way... Observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. So this Lately, game starts. You're like, this snakes. is so fun, and then they it very quickly prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms to, they Oh god! <laughs> what they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Gives you the fuzzies. That's cute. Socrates. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to it talk about like my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back 
her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it, and she shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. That's kind of what you she have to do. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. Of course not. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Alien containment, yeah. We're, we're gonna build that eventually. Yeah, Marguerite's cool. I like Bart. His dad is kind of a jerk, it seems. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. They gave her a southern accent. If rescue though. arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Nope. <laughs> Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. I remember that. Yeah, Marguerite and Paul are at each other's throats almost constantly. <laughs> Because the father's trying to hold on to his command, and no one's listening to him because they're in a very desperate situation, and he all he wants to do is not leave the base ever. Now, of course, I kind of understand that mindset, but at the same time, it's not going to help. Emissary Kassar reports Meta was hired to accompany Paul Torgal on board the Degasi into uncharted space, Ugh. and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates of rival corporations. Yeah, that wasn't your problem, bruh. <laughs> that wasn't the problem you needed to prepare for. Okay, I don't think there's anything left in this wreck, despite how freaking large it is. I would expect it to find a bunch here, but yeah, it looks like this is what's left of the Degasi. Pretty cool. But okay, so we found the Jelly Shrimp Caves. I got a bunch of pieces from my base. I'm gonna go back and- wait, that's not the right way. Where's my base? There it is. I'm gonna go and pick up some more water. I know how to make that already. I don't know what I need to build it. I can- Oh my god, where am I going to put the launch platform? I think I know exactly where I'm going to put the launch platform. <laughs> we'll get to that later, though. This has made it! Ow, made it. I'm an idiot. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much! I'm going to go ahead and repair my theme off, because <laughs> I keep bumping it into crap. Okay. I'll take you. Where's my zero battery? There you are. Charge you up. Okay! I am gonna head off and do a thing. I got food and water. I'm good. Okay. Are you fully charged? Well, yeah, you are. There he is. Away! Welcome aboard all systems online. Woo! <laughs> it's always so fun. Okay, yeah. I think it's in this direction. Which means we can go investigate this wreck too while we're out here. Not me, Reefax. Excuse me. I can only imagine how much more infinitely terrifying this game would be in VR. But unfortunately, the one VR headset that I own at the moment is not supported by this game. So, jeez. But there is another uh, VR game our horror game that's coming out soon for PSVR that I'm absolutely going to play for you. And those of you who follow Markiplier, Tio, Jacksepticeye has done it. Uh, it's a game called Visage or Visage or whatever. And yeah, that's, that's the game. It's going to be in VR and yeah. Okay, this is the wreck. There's a lot of stuff here. 
I want the torpedo arm. I want the grapple arm. Dang it. Well, I'll take it. Ah, sweet. New blueprint acquired. Thermal plant would be awesome, because that's great for power. It'll give me a lot more power capacity than a freaking solar panel, so I will take it. I can't see, and that makes me nervous. Why do I not have my flashlight equipped? Here we go. Okay. This just makes me really nervous swimming around in the deeper parts of the ocean by myself. Without my sea moss. I can make a thermal plant. That's gonna go on my to-do list immediately. What's this? Torpedo arm, don't want it. Torpedo arm, don't want it. Anything else out here? Whoa, I am hearing not great sounds. I mean, this music's great. And I kind of wish it were quieter because I'm getting a little paranoid here. Okay, there's more wreck up here. Yeah, this is where I came out. Oh, I can't see anything when I look up. I don't like that. But I'm gonna ascend anyway. Oh god, okay. Can I see my destination when I surface? Flashlights are, oh god, I hate, oh god, you just scared me half to death, Reek back. Where am I going? I'm going. That way, there it is, I see it, okay. Oh god, I hate puttering around in the open ocean in the pitch black at night. Don't like it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the floating island. Ain't that cool? Remember the underwater island biome that we puttered past on our way to the rendezvous point with the sunbeam? May they rest in peace? This is just a really, really, really big one. We're gonna explore this island right now. It's one of my favorite areas of the game. It's so cool. Uh, flashlight, please. Thank you. Nothing over here. Okay. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Oh, the last time you said that, the energy signature you were talking about shot down my freaking rescue! So thanks for that! Check out the... I'm kind of glad we got here when it was relatively dark out. You get to see how they glow. Look at how they glow. I can't scan them, which makes me sad. But look at these guys glow too. You used to be able to scan these guys, I think. Voxel Shrub. Speckled Rattler. Sounds like a snake species. Of course, on this island, I guess you never know, do ya? My knife out. I'm gonna take some of these and plant them in my base so it looks pretty. Huh? Oh, the music on this island. There didn't used to be music on the island. It's like a mixture of like ethereal vocals and like dubstep. It's, it's an odd combination, but it works. I remember the Ming plants. You guys are cool too. I kind of want to take a. Okay, you too. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, what am I looking for here? Ah, there it is. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. We gotta get up there. And there's another base down near the bottom somewhere. But I don't remember precisely where, because what can I say? It's been a year and a half. Oh. Ah, why? You motherfucker. Beware, Los Cabrejos. Oh. Ow! That's exactly why you beware, Los Cabrejos. Got a friend? Yeah, you do. You don't got a friend in me. <gasps> Ow! Because I hate you! Go away and die! Nobody likes you. Ooh, grub basket. I don't really like the sound of that, but I'll scan it. And I'll take some. 
Because you're cool looking. You look like a big old Rafflesia. Now, the last time I was on this island, this game had yet to implement a fall damage mechanic. So I would just go up there, jump off the entire mountain, land on my feet, no problem, and then investigate this base over. Whoa! You guys have been busy! A lot busier than I remember. Why? Why do you have to be here? But this is the lantern tree! And this is exactly what I need! To stay sustained. Oh, I will grab two of them. Even though they do take up kind of a lot of inventory space, don't Oh god, it all does. I'll carry one of those. There! Okay. I need the lantern tree for food because it would be incredibly uh, useful. Ugh. Just like it would be incredibly useful to eliminate every single crab on this planet. Stay over there. I don't think I'm gonna stay over there. Can I scan the potato plant without you bothering me? Nope, that, that's, a, that's a native. Die. Don't you dare bite me and run away like a pussy. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Okay. Chinese potatoes. I will grab one. Oh, no one else needs marble melons! I'm just gonna grab one of each, because I can always grow the first one and then make more. Okay. I will grab... I need the big one. Oh god, that takes way more space than I thought it did. Oh my dear. Use one of them. Okay, and then I'll have some of that. And then I'll have this. Okay, I'm doing good. Scan this so I can grow it when I get back! Fuck yeah! I don't need to worry about fish! I mean, I can still totally eat fish. They had a purple artifact here. Where did you guys find that? Integrating new PDA data. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Yeah, okay. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? People. Maybe. Could be aliens. Aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Yeah, I went a little backwards. They were here first before moving down into the jelly shroom caves. Ooh, you used to make your way down that hallway. Huh? You used to be able to do that. Wait, there's gotta be a way. Huh? Maybe there's a. Huh? Oh, spotlight. Cool. New blueprint acquired. Thank you. There's got to be another way in, right? Bulkhead. I don't really know what these are for. I suppose that's what scanning them's for, though, right? I can learn what they're for. Got it. Okay. Great. New Separate compartments while acquired. reinforcing structural integrity with a solid titanium frame. The door can be opened and closed to seal off compartments in the event of fire or flooding. Or simply for privacy. Cool. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. Is that another battery? Jesus, okay. Storm! Integrating new PDA. Seaside living's out with an ocean view. Yeah, it is. Find the Degasi habitat on the floating island. There's at least one more Degasi in ruin data. in this game. Oh, this is Paul's log now. Okay. Chief's log. Five weeks since the crash. Five weeks. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. Yeah, turning on each other in a survival situation is absolutely the correct life, move to make. Physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, 
She'd have more faith. Faith ain't gonna get you nowhere. Humans have breath. spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. <laughs> My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Or never. Because whatever is going to come get you ain't going to be leaving with or without you. Like us. That was us. The rescue they were waiting for was us and the Aurora. Now we're stuck here too. I only hope we don't share the same fate. It's my attempt at an Irish slash Scottish accent because I can never figure out the difference. I apologize. Is that something I can scan? No. It's not that I can't figure out the difference, I just get them confused a lot. <laughs> if you had a chance to change your fate, would you? I think that's everything. I got all the logs and shit. I got some plants so I can start growing vegetables and fruit. Uh, now I just gotta get up there. Okay, where to start? Uh, probably back around this side of the island. This isn't precarious at all. Wow, the Aurora still looks ginormous from this far away. How far away am I from my base right now? Almost 2,000 meters. That's awesome. I don't feel vulnerable out here. Not that I am climbing the wrong... There's two of them. Oh. I didn't... I don't remember there being two bases up on a mountain. I remember there one thing on the bottom. And Stasis Rifle is going to be incredibly useful for when shit hits the fan because again that goes towards my story that i was gonna tell at the beginning of this session and then i never told but uh ooh, more water that's always good return to the deep grow bed sure i'll take some you know what i'll take some decorative stuff if I don't get huh? stuck in a corner. Well, I found this one first. Let's read it. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. I wish it rained in this game. Your no. life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'd say eating saying, is a pretty high so, priority, bro. What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. With my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. You're just making everybody's lives harder, Paul. No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. So you went down deeper, and that turned out to be a mistake. But anyway, return from the deep. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best okay. efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Visions? Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to note that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. He was infected too. They all were. They're long. Visions, though? Does that mean he was... He saw that thing that I did when building the base? The... What are you? Does that mean he saw that, too? 
is that what Visions he's talking about, or is that something I just haven't I haven't gotten to that stage of the infection yet? Okay, well now I got another big mountain to climb, and there's absolutely fall damage in this game now, so it's not like I can just jump down. So don't fall me, you idiot. Ah, uh, what a view. What why is the clouds materializing? Eh. The moon looks so normal! <laughs> it used to be literally like it would take up the whole sky. Like, it was huge. Which means the eclipses were huge and awesome. And boy, did that sun go down fast. The fuck is that? Is that me? Because I don't know, and it's making me nervous. kind of clipping through the mountain here, but that's because I'm hugging it for dear life, because I don't want to fall. There we go. I should also say, when I went back to the island to get more diamond, um, I was looking down in the caves underneath the island, and my sea moth died, and the spare power cell I brought with me was totally at 0% power, <laughs> and I was just like, fuck, so I had to take my sea glide and swim all the way back to my base grab the extra power cell that was 100% and swim all the way back. It, uh, wasn't great. I'll take a small, sure. Why the hell not? In fact, I could eat that if emergency is necessary. There we go. Integrating new so this is number data. one. They started here. Excuse me? Here. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rate Speaking is too starving. slow to keep supporting us. <laughs> All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet. Oh, uh, you're gonna wanna hide. The rest of your life may have been a fight maker, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me. Believe me. I'm thinking, on it. I'm thinking on it. I remember that line. I remember all these logs. They just, again, there was no voice acting last time I played this. This is so cool. I love this. It makes all these characters feel that much more alive. Okay, so we've explored all three Degasi uh, bases on the island. And then we're going to get to the center of the island beneath it and go straight down. Because, again, if the biomes haven't moved at all... Uh, we're gonna see something real special once we, once we, oh god, once we go down, all the way down <laughs> below this island. Okay, yeah, this is, this is the hole in the center of the island. And it does not lead where I thought it did. Uh, oh god. Oh god, this was a bad idea. Oh. Oh wait, it might be over here. Hold on. The sun's coming up already? My goodness. The day and night cycles are really, really fast in this game. A lot faster than I remember. Can I scan this? I can. Ancient floater. That sounds like a really, 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 really old turd. Okay. Matured in an ingenious symbiosis with the land they have attached to. Raised in the water, increasing sunlight and encouraging plant growth. As older plants decay, organic residues and nutrients seep into the rock and are consumed by the floater. Interesting. I don't know why the ocean sounds randomly kicked in there, but okay. It must have held for thousands of years for a floater to reach this size. Wow. <clears throat> so, it's a floater. The little itty bitty pink guys that are hanging on to the rocks that are just kind of suspended in midair in the grassy plateau. Give it a couple thousand years and it's going to look like this. In extreme circumstances, a number of floaters may attach to a leviathan class life form, forcing it to the surface and effectively asphyxiating it. The body will be consumed over a number of months until eventually dissolving, leaving the floaters free to attach to a new host. Can I do that in the game? Because you can pick up floaters in the game. Can I attach a bunch of floaters to 
a Reaper Leviathan and force it to the surface. Can I do that? Please tell me I can do that. I'm definitely going to need the stasis rifle first. But can I do that? Oh, yes, that's right. I found this. The one with, with, with the flare that caught the fuel line and exploded. This, the first log was outside the, the pod, and I just didn't see it because it was in the grass. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. She was just a passenger. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? <laughs> the Aurora didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates. We were the rescue the team, you know? So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. Toby. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. And she went. And when she came back, the... The person got scared and set off flare and killed them both. Integrating new PDA data. <gasps> this island was the rendezvous point. I knew it. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Two hours later. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Dude, you're still- where did you go? How did you die? He made it to the island! I'm gonna be one scared little lady. Uh, okay, Seamoth is there. This is not- oh god. This is not terrifying at all. Uh, why am I going towards the life pod? Where is my Seamoth? Me? Me? Don't be an idiot, me. Where is my Seamoth? What did you do with my Seamoth? Where is it? It's right above my head. Okay, don't panic. Everything's fine. Now for a 